Greeting fellow modelers, or as we say in my country, Wagwan, my friend. Let us arm this bad boy. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, let's build the underwing missile rail assembly. Here, it just matter of cutting out the part and then lightly scoring the parts which are going to be folded. Once we do that, we use a straight edge to get the fold accurate. And then once we do this, we'll use glue to hold it. And as you will see here, I use a ruler after the steel edge to make sure it stays true and not warped or bent in any way. And then we cut the pylon that will be attached to the railing and the underside of the main wing. Carefully fold, we glue this, and then the tip we fold down according to you have plan. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again, he's truly a master at doing what he does. And there you go. Pretty much that's it. So now it's time to build a sidewinder. So the trick is use a toothpick. Sand down the diameter if you need to but get a thin one which will roughly be the size of what the diameter of the sidewinder will be. Roll it around and then I put glue, super glue to hold it in position and then roll it and you simply have an awesome, incredibly straight and strong missile. Then your trusty cutter. And then we give it fins. Well, when building at a larger scale, it should be far easier to build a missile. But I find a trick at this scale, 170 second scale, just use toothpick. It saves you a lot of heartache. And here now we add the forward fin for the missile. Again, the glue I use is a lean tacky glue. It's not too watery and it dries very, very quickly. Then we add the steering fins at the front. And then we add the tail fins. Awesome. And then after all is done, we then just put a little bit of tacky glue and we attach the missile to the rail and make sure that the back of the rail is flush with the missile exhaust and then we align where you have has specified the railing pylon should be. And there you have it. Awesome. Now the wing tip pretty much is straightforward. Just like the missile rail on the underside, this we cut out. Then we score the edges we use a straight edge to fold it. After folding, we now cut the parts out that is not needed. And then we use a tweezer to bend where it needs to be bent. And then we hold in place with crazy glue. Now pay attention carefully. On the edge of the part that joins the wing, there is 
an indicator to the angle at which you should glue the missile railing at. There you go, that's the edge. That's where you'll glue. So the railing will have a slight downward angle. Let's do the belly drop tank. This is where it will be. And just like what we did with the auxiliary fuel tanks on the wing, the same will be done for the belly tank. Now, the belly tank is slightly different from the main wing drop tanks because it is oval, not circular. And there is formers that will help guide you as to how the oval should be. I really like when I can see an actual paper model come together and look quite stunning and almost dare I say rival that of a plastic kit. Here we go. We put in the joiners and then of course our different type of tweezers, what best suit the occasion to hold it in place. And there is the circular base that goes at the back of the center fuel tank. Now we'll just join the segments. The thing is, once you have enough patience, you'll be amazed at how accurate a card model can look and feel and be once glued properly. And dare I say it can be addicting because it is not expensive and yet still you can achieve amazing results. Hats off to you have for this design. And here you see I have another type of tweezer that is used to hold the joints together. And now we put in the former. Now pay attention, the former I've put in, you see, it will hold the shape that it's supposed to be while we now assemble the forward section. Because of the scale it is, I end up not using all the formers, but the bigger you make your model, it's absolutely necessary you use all the formers needed. So let's complete this fuel tank. As you get smaller, you realize I use the needle nose tweezers to just get to join those parts. Oh yes, forgot to tell you, I can also be found at Neil Paper Models on Instagram. So you can check me out there. I usually lurk there as well as on Facebook. And now we join and we have our central fuel tank. And this because I can't get a tweezer to flatten the joints, I just use my paintbrush to even those joint areas and then we make the pylon that will hold the fuel tank to the aircraft fuselage there you go pay attention carefully to where the marks are that you have provided and then once we tack it in basic air where it's supposed to be with glue, we super glue it into place. And then we add these fine details on the outside of our central fuel tank. Well, this will be it for this episode. The last episode coming up, we simply install our tail hook and then we make our canopy. So until then, my friends, Thank you so much for following me on this adventure. Next week, 
I hope to release it. It will be in the descriptions as to where to get it. Take care of yourself. Be good. Be gentle with yourself always. And above all, have fun and one love.